the ideas our French colleagues have shared have been very constructive, very catalytic. They help us frame approaches to longer term rollovers. But I also think that some of the other ideas on the table, such as debt buybacks, have some real merit as well. Is it possible, though, to structure a deal that can avoid this being labeled a default? It may well be that uh, some rating agencies reach judgments that involve a selective default. That is certainly something we should strive to avoid. But I don't think that a temporary period of selective default, as it has been narrowly framed for sovereigns in the past, is necessarily the worst thing that could happen here. Aren't you concerned, though, that any kind of bailout or buyback plan could be viewed as giving investors actually a handout and sort of shielding the banks at the expense of the taxpayer? I don't think that banks or investors or creditors are going to be shielded. I think that uh, the financial institutions of Europe are strong enough that they can cope with any short-term pain that may emerge from this process. Obviously, uh, it's important to frame a solution that does have a positive outcome for Greece because this will help draw a line under the amount of pain that financial institutions experience. To what extent is Portugal in the same boat as Greece? Greece is, uh, as we would say in Latin, sui generis. It is a uniquely difficult and seriously problematic case with levels of debt to GDP, fiscal deficit, distortions in the fundamental structure of the economy that I think call for exceptional treatment. I would not at all suggest that ideas being developed for Greece today are relevant. I believe, frankly, that Portugal and Ireland are both on the right course to deal with their problems. How confident are you that policymakers have this under control? I think it's important to recognize that this is not just a European issue. It is a global issue, even though the main actors here are obviously headquartered in Europe and Greece is a relatively small economy. But what's at stake really continues to be, I think, the global economic recovery. And that's why I am increasingly confident that the efforts underway recognize the severity of the stakes and are prepared to work together to find solutions.